Hi, so this is my state select newly installed power direct vent water heater. As you can see, there is actually two pipes in the back, one for the intake and one for the exhaust. So this is one of those so-called special type of configurations for, I believe, places where you don't want to pull in the ambient air for the combustion of the burner gas, rather you're pulling in air from the outside via that PVC intake pipe in the back there. And the exhaust with the power fan running over there. So this is in contrast to the other types of powered water heaters, the power vent, which is just a single exhaust piping at the top, whereas this one is very rare, it has the two pipings, and this was uh, super expensive. It was uh, $2,500 for installation, and uh, the tank itself was somewhere between $1,500 to $1,800, so I, I was looking at a bunch of reams, and those were $1,800. I'm not quite sure how much these were, but I actually call five different places and they were all around 2400 2500 so I just went with one where it was the same as my older one so if you look for my older video which uh, shows the corroded power direct vent tank um, you know that this is just a replacement for that and as you can see here here's the model number for this particular one and again this is a power direct vent which is something I've never heard of uh, other than when I actually had to replace this. This is actually my parents' place, so I didn't really uh, examine the water heater all that much. So this particular tank is on the third floor of a five-floor apartment building, and I am the original owner of this. When I bought it, this tank, this type of tank was already there. I do wonder sometimes whether it would have been just worth it or how much more money I would have spent just putting in a Renai or a, um, a what, what do you call it, well, one of those that just wall mounted that just heats up. So, but um, in any case, oh those are called tankless by the way, so I, I did ponder whether I should do tankless but of course I, I would have had to bring in a lot more gas for those type of burners as these things are 40,000 BTU and um, I believe the other ones I was told would require a larger gas line so you can see the piping here so the back one is the intake and, and you see in the back there's a whole plastic um, sort of body that, that goes all the way from the top of the tank to the bottom. So these are very efficient. E even when the water is very hot, I can't feel the heat from the outside. So these are insulated very well these days. And as you can see, that is the controller there. And I am just uh, zooming in once again to the model. This is a 40 gallon tank and it is 40,000 BTU. And this is a Honeywell controller. And that's pretty much it. That, that's really what I wanted to show. Uh, look for my other videos where I have the old water tank if you want to take a look at that. And again this is a very specialized tank, a so called power direct vent versus a direct vent or a power vent. So, alright, there you go, and if you uh, found this helpful or useful or interesting, um, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.